Nosen, he brings down in Likutei Halachot. <coughs> he says that the falsehood, the Sheker, seeks to conquer and cover the entire world. The attitude of evil, of wickedness, of, of falsehood, is to spread. It wants to make itself spread. That's, the, that's its nature. That's the tendency of falsehood, that it doesn't stay just contained in a corner. It goes out to spread. And in fact, it, it doesn't rest until the falsehood has covered at least the entire world. In other words, it tries its goal, and only then it will rest once it covers the entire world. However, Rav Nosson explains that everything has a limit. Even falsehood has a limit. There's only so much that a person can contain and handle falsehood. Even a person who's doing bad, he only accepts to do the bad after first convincing himself that it's not wrong so much. It's justified. Oh, all types of justifications and excuses why to fall in to a false attitude and a false conduct. When a person knows it's wrong, what can I do? I'm addicted. What can I do? This, that. All types of excuses which he uses as a cover-up to allow the falsehood to enter him. So, But everyone has, again, like we said, a limitation in how much you can accept falsehood. For one person, a very little amount of falsehood is already enough to get him waking up and upset and I, what is this I can't believe I'm doing these wrong things and he wakes up even with, with just a little bit of falsehood others it takes a deeper level unfortunately of more falsehood and only then that it touches upon their pure truthful essence and then they wake up others it's deeper but like Rashi brings down in the Torah that any falsehood any sheker that doesn't have a little bit of an admixture of truth into it, cannot stand. In other words, like we said, you can't accept the falsehood unless it has some truth. But also, this is the downfall of the falsehood, is that when it gets too bad, too false, too much of a concealment, it's so obvious that it's false, that's the downfall of the falsehood itself. So it's like a, a catch-22. The falsehood seeks to conquer the whole world and to be on the top, and it's about to do it, and that's when the downfall is. Rav Nosin brings all this together in a beautiful in a verse in the in the Torah. I think it's in, in the book of uh, Mishle, Proverbs, that says like this, Sfat Emet. Again, I'm not sure if it's in Proverbs. I have to double-check. Sfat Emet Tikon La'ad. The speech of truth will be forever established. And the verse goes on. Ve'ad argia lashon shaker. To the point and, and until the point of resting, who will rest? A speech of falsehood. Rav Nosson explains the verse like this. When the falsehood is getting so strong in the world, inside a person, where it becomes so obvious that it's false, that at that point, where it's va'ad argia lashon shaker, it also explains the, the second part of the verse as being the cause. That when falsehood is about to take a break, because falsehood doesn't rest until it's conquered the whole world, until it's spread all the way. Ad argia lashon shaker, the speech of falsehood is about to take a break and rest, meaning it's about to spread fully. At that point, Sfat Emet Tikon the speech of truth will stand forever. The truth becomes revealed specifically when there's too much falsehood because that's what gives out gives away its cover up. That the falsehood is trying to cover itself up under truth, it's given away when there's too much falsehood, when it becomes so obvious that this is something false, that is the downfall of the falsehood. To be truthful and to strive for truth, and even if a person is filled with falsehood, time will come, will drop all the falsehood that he has 
adapted himself. All types of excuses upon excuses upon excuses. A person wakes up and he sees how much he's living such a false reality, a false existence compared to where he wanted to be initially. And he sees where he is now. And it's a major wake-up inspiration and situation.